Hey! Today we will see how the composition of our result can be controlled. We will start working with Comfy, move to Photoshop and come back to Comfy. For those who missed how to connect Photoshop to Comfy, I will put a link to a video that explains how to do it in the description of the video. And of course you can also find this workflow in the description of the video. Let's start by creating the base images. I work with a very basic workflow, adapted to LCM. Positive prompt, photo of an old lady looking to the horizon. I create four different versions as a start, so that we have something to choose from. I'm currently working with preview node so I save the image with a right click. If you want to save all the results, you can activate the save node. This is the image I choose to continue working with. I once had an older student who fed crows on her balcony, and I want to create a kind of homage to this wonderful woman. So now I will write in the positive prompt, photo of a crow, blank background. And now we will get four different versions of the crow, if you want to get other variations, you can of course change the seed and the prompt. But another thing that greatly affects the final result is the ratio between the length and width of the image, so let's change the width to 512. And press Q, and you can see that with the same seed and the same prompt we get completely different results. I'll continue with this crow, I'll save the image, and let's switch to Photoshop to put it all together, and we'll go back to Comfy to finish the process. So we have the two images here, we need to separate the crow from the background, I will use select subject which does most of the work, we will create a mask. And now you can clean up a little, and put back some parts that are missing in the crow's legs, so that it looks like the crow will come out behind our lady, we will select the character, also with select subject. And copy the figure to a new layer, and place it above the layer of the crow, now you can play a little with the angle and the perspective and the size of the crow, so that it looks a little more logical. And that's all we need to do in Photoshop, and now we'll go back to Comfy. Let's start by connecting Photoshop to Compi, I copy the positive prompt, also the K sampler I only change the seed we can play with it later, I make sure I return to the appropriate resolution, 768 by 512. I also copy the VAE and the preview node, and now we will add a control net to define the conditioning for the model, we will work on the tile model, and let's write in the prompt what we want to receive. Photo of a lady crow on the shoulder, and click on Q to see that everything works. As you can see, we got four similar results, which are very close to what we wanted, let's try with a different seed. It's definitely close to what I wanted to get, but the quality isn't the best, and we're also working with a low resolution. So let's try to fix it with a second pass, but before I transfer the latent to the second pass, I will enlarge the image using the NN latent upscale, which I really like its upscaling, and its ability to preserve details. Unlike the usual latent upscale, I choose the option of SD 1.5 because this is our checkpoint. We will copy the K sampler and press Ctrl plus Shift plus V to paste with all the connections. We will change the seed and the denoise. We will also copy the VAE and the preview node. We will connect everything and press Q. These are the results we got after upscaling and the second pass. You can play with the denoise to get slightly different results, but no less interesting. Don't forget that our base image starts from Photoshop, and now any change we make in Photoshop will affect the final result. Let's change the background of the lady and we'll see what happens. Now because she's in the forest it might be more correct to have softer lighting on the face, let's play a little with shadow highlight and try to sort that out as well. And now we will move them a little to the side, or reverse direction. In short, as you can see, the combination of the capabilities of Comfy UI with the tools and precision that Photoshop allows gives us almost absolute control over the composition and the final result. So I hope you learned and we will meet in the next lessons.
You are welcome to subscribe to the channel, ask questions, and like if you liked it. And most importantly, have fun. Bye.